Hey guys, my name is Vijay Kumar Vaka. I am working as Senior Solution Consultant in AP0. So today we'll be discussing about raise error um, from error handling section. Okay, so I have created a flow. Okay, so which, which has HTTP listener and after that uh, we have a logger in the main flow. This is the main flow. Okay, I'm printing the payload in the flow reference. I'm calling this flow error handling private flow. Okay, and uh, in this logger I'm printing the payload. Okay, so uh, from this flow reference I'm calling this flow and here in the first transform message uh, I have kept greeting as hello and the very next to that I have flow reference one more flow reference where I'm calling this flow error handling private flow 2 okay and uh, in this thing we have I have kept one more thing like greeting uh, just to differentiate between this greeting and this greeting so there it was like hello and here it is like hello how are you doing okay and the very next to that I have put rise error okay we'll be discussing about this and after that I put uh, logger okay so once it, this is done uh, you could see logger here as logger in error handling private flow this thing okay and here it is logger in error handling private flow 2 okay simple okay now in this in the error handling section of this I didn't put anything here also the same thing nothing we have and here you could see I have put uh, in, in the error handling section of the main flow I have put uh, three things one is on error propagate on error continue and on error continue any error type is any here and here the error type is the custom error which I have created and here uh, I have put the error type as expression okay so this is all about the flow okay so if we talk about rise error so when we will be using this so rise error is something whenever you would like to raise an explicit error okay it is this is not generated or in a situation where uh, you would like to generate the error explicitly or intentionally okay so that that is the scenario where you will be using this rise error component in in the flow okay so as soon as uh, I mean uh, the flow finds uh, this rise error it will raise an error that is expected okay so this is the flow and uh, uh, this will use maybe if based upon some your business logic for example um, like if something happens and you have to raise error intentionally then you can use rise error okay um, so this is all about rise error and if you if we talk about this uh, error type here so this is the custom error right which I have created so uh, this is the namespace ABC is the namespace and this after colon uh, whatever is there in the right side Okay, R okay, that is called as identifier. Okay, so ABC is the namespace and Error underscore occurred is the identifier. Okay. This is how um, You can recognize error types. Okay, and the description is something if you leave if you leave it as is Okay, it will provide you the default description you can also put your own description here okay so whenever an error occurred it will automatically print the error type and also the description right so we'll see first how it will be printing the error, error description and the type okay now here the path is error handling okay so let me open postman okay so yeah um, yeah, let's directly send a request to the uh, to this particular flow. Okay, so let me click on new tab click on don't save clear all Yeah, so HTTP Dismiss Localhost colon 8081 Slash error handling right So to this thing we have to send the request Okay, so let me send the request to this. Okay, so what happens in general? Uh, whenever the flow reference uh, If this flow is f uh, finding the flow reference it will go to this flow and again This will be executed. This will be set as a payload and here the flow reference uh, Was found and 
the control will come to this flow and here the uh, error will be raised okay so it the flow is already up and running now let us see how it goes and we'll also see in the debug mode okay click on send okay so if you see here uh, we could see the info from the first very first logger as I'm not sending any payload and as we are printing the payload uh, uh, the value of the logger is null nothing here okay and if you see the error has occurred you could see where the error has occurred also see error handling private float to this is the flow name right where the error error has occurred okay so error handling private float to that is this one okay and if you see here error type is abc error occurred underscore occurred right so that is what i have set here that is the error type i have defined in a custom way okay so this is the error type you see so here we didn't put any description right but you see here uh, it has printed something like an error occurred okay so this is the default description actually if you don't put anything in the description section section that is what uh, it will display in uh, in the console okay as the message error message okay so yeah I mean in which uh, line within the XML uh, it is able to find the issue so all these things it has printed here right in the console so go to the message flow yeah okay so uh, and you see at last uh, we could see error in main flow handled by on error continue now we will see one by one so here we got the error right first of all it will check if there is anything in the error handling section okay so we have nothing here right and very next to this it will check if there is any global error handler in this project or in this application okay so there there is no global error handler that will be discussing in, in our next session okay so then what what happened uh, this has been propagated to by default error will error has to propagate to the parent flow right if there is no global error handler okay so that is why it has gone here okay now after this again it will check here it, it this flow has found an an issue or error it will check in this error handling section there is nothing it will check for the global error handler no, there is no, no global error handler right then again the same will be propagated to the parent flow then here it it found an error now it will check uh, if there is anything in the error handling okay we have something here okay now here if you see the error type is expression right error type is expression so that means it didn't match here the error type is abc colon error occurred okay it didn't match with this right now so that means this will not be uh, i mean this logger will not execute okay and it will check for the the next uh, error handler within this error handling that is nothing but on error continue okay so here it is it is matching abc colon error occurred so that is the reason you could see error in main flow handled by on error continue okay just to distinguish between these two loggers i have put something like error in main flow handled by on error continue error type any but here it is simple simple right error in main flow handled by on error continue so as this error handling section has handled the error here itself the control will not go to here okay so that is the reason we could see only this logger okay in the console you see that is the only logger error in main flow handled by on error continue and as i have been telling you whenever an error is occurring it will not go ahead okay it will go ahead whenever you put a try block that we'll be seeing in the next session okay but without try block uh, okay it will not go ahead okay so here the error has occurred it will go here and that's it it will not go to this logger and the same thing here the error has occurred or it, the flow has found an error here it will not go ahead and the same applies to this main flow as well okay so uh, we'll see the same thing in the debug mode okay now you see because it is an honor continue uh, we could see the payload right so the payload is nothing but the recent payload that that uh, got set so the recent payload is greeting hello how are you doing right so this is in a Java mode that's the reason we could not see it properly but if you make it uh, as a JSON okay 
so you'll be able to see this okay anyway this we'll see when we uh, now in the debug mode so that we'll see the same thing in the response section but you see here because it was handled by honor continue response uh, i mean the status code is 200 and the reason phrase is okay by default okay so before you go through this video you better check my uh, previous uh, two videos that i have created on honor continue and on error uh, propagate uh, like this see in this uh, error handling section in this playlist i have created two videos one is on error on on error continue and the other is on error propagate okay so you please go through these two things before you explore this video okay these two things on error continue on error propagate okay yeah so now let us ch check the same thing uh, in the debug mode okay and we'll understand how the uh, flow control or the propagation is happening among these flows okay collapse all so i have run the application in the debug mode okay it takes some time let's wait till then okay so click on s now let this time let us send some simple payload something like the something like hi okay so that this part the first um, logger will print this payload right yeah we'll see that yes it it got deployed in the debug mode let me clear the console okay now let me send this request click on send oh sorry i need to put the breakpoints right uh, okay um, let us see if this will execute one by one in a debug mode yeah though we are not going to add any breakpoints okay yeah see um, in the logger section the first logger got executed till here okay so that is the reason we could see the payload that we have sent from this uh, postman request okay that is nothing but hi okay and click on next so flow reference click on next okay it has gone here i mean it, it has gone to the second flow okay so uh, click on next this flow reference now flow reference and this second flow and the this first first uh, component got executed that is nothing but transform message now this is flow reference now click on next okay if you see here yeah this this is the component uh, it has found click next okay now the issue will be we'll be seeing the issue right now okay click on next so issue has occurred right now this will not go to the logger very next to this raise error click next you see so as soon as it has found the error and uh, there is nothing here right so and also we don't have any global error handling so that is the reason it has gone back to the flow reference and we don't have on error continue right so that is the reason it has uh, thrown back as an error only so from this flow the acknowledgement to the pair this flow is error acknowledgement okay so click on next so as we have found an issue here it will not go to this logger so click next see it has gone back to the parent flow to the flow reference now again uh, this will go to the error handling section click next see directly he, uh, this didn't execute because at the high level itself in the error type section itself it got filtered right it is not matching okay now it is checking and the error type got matched okay and that is the reason this logger is getting executed click click next okay so so this logger didn't will not execute because it has found an issue right it has gone to error handling and that's it okay so this is how the flow control will happen and on a whole we'll see two loggers that is the first logger okay before the error has occurred and the last logger that is nothing but in the main flow let me ex yeah in the main flow uh, in the error handling section the error type when a, where, a, where the error type is getting matched okay that is the component got executed so that is the reason we could see error in main flow handled by on error continue 
okay this thing handled by honor continue here the logger value is different okay now you see here see i have changed it to json right so that is the reason i could see greeting uh, in a proper format hello how are you doing okay yeah so this is how uh, the raise error will work or also you can raise the errors intentionally and one more thing one more point is you see here when you click on this magnifier okay so this will not be shown by default actually okay you have to explicitly create it you have to copy this type okay and you have to explicitly um, i mean type it here in the error type section or paste it here okay it will not show by default okay so that is the point here if, if i click here okay in the honor continue click this see it is not showing right here because it is not given by mule okay so that is the reason we have to explicitly um, configure the custom error that we have uh, uh, configured on the raise error section okay and the last point is we'll see for example in in uh, when we have seen in the debug mode as well the message is an error record right by default for example i'm going to put something like um custom error has occurred i'm just saving this now instead of this message by default it should show the message what i have configured here explicitly okay in the console okay let us see that we'll see this uh, very quickly okay yeah it it got deployed okay just click click on send oh it didn't it is still running yeah let me clear this click send uh fine no issues let me click this yeah now if you see in the console see in, instead of i mean previously it was like an error occurred right now i have explicitly configured some other description here custom error has occurred right so that is what you could see here custom error has occurred okay so this is all about raise error and you can utilize this based upon your requirements or where explicitly you would like to raise an error in the real time okay and i hope you like this video and okay and yeah thank you so much for listening to my video thank you so much